Th our design of the Balmoral House was inspired by a work by Usamu Noguchi, a sculpture that plays with the concept of solid and void, curving and twisting, connecting us to other worlds. Since the residents are passionate about the arts, they embraced the idea of conceiving their home as a sculpture on the site. The sculptural concrete forms create a framed window from the street, spanning over a central courtyard with sculptures, protecting its inhabitants while offering passers-by a view of the sea beyond. Art and views are shared with the street. This sculptural form was carefully reworked and adjusted to solve the complexities of the site and functional requirements. The boxes shift orientation to respond to views, sunlight, and privacy needs. The house is located directly opposite Balmoral Beach in Sydney, Australia. The central point here is how the building contributes to this beautiful location and its surroundings. From within the house, views are carefully edited and framed to create a sense of serenity and isolation. Fixed glass windows are housed in deep concrete reveals. All opening windows are framed in timber and slide on concealed tracks. Recessed into the concrete above are retractable louvres. The whole house can close down against the dramas of Australian coastal living. The staircase itself is sculptural and lit from above. The skylights create ever-changing shafts of light that animate the experience of the objects placed within.
there is a consistent minimalist palette of natural textures against which the color and texture of the artworks dominate to create a dynamic and welcoming interior. In a place where views are highly valued, houses are usually oriented to capture the view for themselves, presenting only a closed wall, garage door, and landscaping to the street. But Balmoral House is different. In a gesture that goes against the norm, the home's main living spaces span over an outdoor garden and sculpture courtyard in the middle of the site. This provides a direct view through the site, allowing passers-by to see the lighthouse and feel connected to the harbor below. One sculpture, a cast human form, lays passively, arms outstretched, waiting for commentary. A recent example from two small boys passing questioned the presence of a dead man, while the other responded, that's not a dead man, that's art. There is no front wall, but there is a modest setback and an open fence so that the front door is almost within arm's reach and there is a full view of the civic-like outdoor space and its sculptures. A second entry from the street leads through this courtyard to an undercroft that forms the outdoor foyer of a hall where concerts are held for friends. The music can be heard from the street. Similarly, the garden edges at the back of the site are given back to the bushland reserve that surrounds this group of houses, as if to say, we have enough space, here is some territory that we can share. 